Hi, my name is Jonathan Rose. I'm head of the Department of Political Studies at Queen's, and I wanted to join John Meisel's friends and family from across the country in wishing him the very best 100th birthday. Uh, John, you've been an inspiration not only to the department and the university, but also to the discipline. Happy 100th, John. Professor Meisel, how amazing, 100 years. Uh, happy birthday and such a pleasure uh, to read about your life and the contributions you've made. And I hope you have a great day. Happy birthday. A very happy day. The 100th birthday of our dear friend, John Meisel. I had the privilege of meeting John 60 years ago in October of 1963. Uh, that began a wonderful friendship, a beautiful friendship, which continues to this day and only gets better. I remember visiting John uh, about uh, six weeks ago at the hospital where he'd been trying to recover from his unfortunate accident. And he gave two messages which have stuck with me. The first one is how much love and appreciation he had for Hannah and her family and for the care and attention that they had shown him while he is, had been in the hospital. And he also said something which was very important. He expressed great appreciation for the wonderful life that he'd led and how grateful he was for it. And I think that that message at a difficult time for him recovering from an unfortunate accident showed what a positive attitude he had and it was this positive attitude which has been to the benefit of all the people who have been lucky enough to know him through the years he talked about the wonderful relationships that he had and i reciprocate by saying that the relationship uh, i had with john has been one of the beautiful things in my life and we wish him all the very best on his 100th birthday uh, he also said how much he wanted to have a gin and tonic so I hope that someone in his entourage would have provided him one on his birthday. All our love, John, and I have a special message from Phyllis who wants to say the same thing to you. Hi, John. I just wanted to wish you a happy 100th birthday. Anyone that gets to 100 has to be amazing. So you're an amazing man, and I wish you lots of love and luck the rest of your life. Happy birthday. So have a special day, John, and we look forward to seeing you soon. All our love to you. Hi, John. Happy birthday from Keith Banting. A hundred years. Wow. What a wonderful life you've had. I would like to thank you again for steering me in my early years at university. You won't remember this, but as a second year undergraduate, I was planning to go into law. A conversation with you convinced me that would be a mistake. And I stayed in political science basically for the rest of my life. So in addition, in addition to wishing you well on your 100th birthday, I want to thank you for steering me towards a wonderful life as well. Thank you. Happy birthday. Hello, John. I'm calling from Vancouver place where your friendship with Jean Laponce was so instrumental in helping to build such a, a supportive and continuing relationship between our two political science communities, uh, one that continues to this day. And so on behalf of all my UBC colleagues, I want to join in celebrating you on this 100th uh, birthday. On a personal note, let me thank you for taking me in as a student, what is now many decades ago. Uh, for me, as for so many others, you were the very model of what we wished to be and what we wanted to become, a caring teacher, a serious scholar, a uh, supportive colleague, an engaged citizen. You made us all better. And so for all of us and for myself, thank you so much and have a very happy birthday. And uh, to join with colleagues in celebrating the 100th uh, birthday of John Meisel. John was my thesis advisor at Queen's, and uh, one could have not asked for a better guide to academe. He was responsive to students' needs, um, delightful in uh, leading our seminars, and uh, very learned 
uh, in his lectures. But uh, beyond his great uh, gifts as a teacher, uh, John Meisel meant even more than that to me. He uh, is a great lover of uh, life, whether it be art, uh, birding, his work uh, with the, with the uh, Royal uh, Association, his work with the CRTC devoted to public policy. Uh, John is a man who uh, has uh, lived his life squeezing it to the pips. And uh, therefore, for me, he is someone who I not only try to follow as a teacher, but also a guide on how to live the good life. Hi, John. It's Dick Johnston in Vancouver, sending you my best wishes for your first hundred years. Uh, I hope the next hundred will be as good as the first hundred. I want to thank you personally for all that you did for me in my career, in my relationship to the Queen's community, and just from general friendship. But also, of course, I want to acknowledge that you are the spiritual ancestor of all of us who do election studies in this country, starting with your own early research, but then especially with creating and institutionalizing the Canadian election study. So we're all in your debt. I especially am. And so with that, I want to say again, happy 100th, John. I hope to see you soon. Bye. Happy birthday, John Meisel. I know you'll take this day to reflect on a life well lived. All the many students, uh, colleagues, and friends you have encountered along the way. You were my teacher and mentor, and now you are my friend. You gave me advice and guided me through the dissertation process with great skill and patience. You were generous with your time and allowed me to explore a number of different issues and themes which came together in a 400 plus page dissertation. I don't know how you read the multiple versions of this document. I doubt very much that without you, I could have completed the program. As well, our conversations over the years have given me insight into any number of political and social issues. I want to thank you for all you have done for me, for the discipline of political science, for Queen's University, and for a better understanding of Canada. In many ways, the last 100 years have certainly been the John Meisel century. Hi, John. Birthday greetings. When I think of you, I think of a life truly well lived. I am looking forward to our next visit and particularly possibly lunch. And I send you all my best wishes and, of course, my love to you and to Hannah. Mon cher collègue, many, many happy returns on a hundred years. You called your memoirs a life of learning and pleasures, and you certainly gave us enormous pleasures over the years. And, and that learning led into fabulous teaching, unbelievable courses. We'll never forget the uh, French Canada course, which uh, was a sign of not only your love of your students, but also your love of your country. And John, I will never forget your wonderful visits to us in Ottawa and to Pine Island. We always loved seeing you coming up the hill with Hannah, even better. And also we were really so thrilled by your interest in our family and in our sons. In fact, now, whenever they think of a university professor, the archetypical university professor in our family is of course, Professor Meisel. Here, here. So I too want to say happy birthday, a hundred years, not bad. And we love you. Hello, I'm Nadia Kalev, and I wish John Meisel a very happy birthday. This is his 100th anniversary, and this is really special for me because, after all, he hired me way back in time when he was the head of the department. And at the same time, Flora MacDonald was 
his assistant in the department. And so having that experience of the two of them at that period of Canadian history is really special for me. Thank you.